Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Scorpio, it looks like some of you need to forgive someone for putting you in a third party situation, okay? Um, and it could have been someone that you were married to, right? Uh, the relationship was hard work because I think they they always had somebody else or they always compared you to someone else or they always brought something, another energy into the connection because they felt less than. They felt not enough, uh, inadequate for some reason. Some of you have birthdays coming up pretty soon and you are planning to travel with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Um, maybe even have secret plans to propose to someone or uh, you're getting proposed to. Um, you are somebody's wish fulfillment here. Um, all of a sudden, you know, life can just take a, a, a very um, big turn for you, a, a turn for the better. Some of you could just step into sudden wealth here. Um, step into I'm focusing, yeah. Um, step into sudden wealth, sudden wealth, uh, to where we know that wealth is calculated by so many different things. It's not just, of course, money, but it's also, um, your quality of life. So, some of you could get married, okay. And we see that here. Um, some of you can get married, start families, empires. Also, some of you need to start a business. We have that card here. It says start that business, okay? And then we have the work card. Some of you really have been working on something that's dynamic or you have a really good idea. It says start the business. It could actually go well for you. And then you, the two cards that you have for the monology cards are prosperity lies ahead. So prosperity is just your life um, going to the next level. So many different uh, aspects of your life, uh, relationships, romantic relationships, business, family, prosperity lies ahead, a uh, new moon in Taurus, so maybe around Taurus season, and then your hard work is paying off, so new moon in Capricorn, so maybe around that new moon in Capricorn, December, you'll start to see that your hard work is paying off, that all those, uh, hours spent on this thing, working on this project was for nothing, it wasn't for any, for nothing, you're definitely going to see the rewards or reap the rewards of this, okay? Um, some of you look into health, okay, your health and well-being and release all negativity. It's time to really release grudges that you're holding against family members, friends, um, your romantic partner. It's time to start something new, okay? I know um, it's like a war with inside of you. You want to be good. But at the same time, you want to be bad. You have to really balance that out, especially with that scorpionic energy. You've got that stinger. So it's like, I want to be nice. But at the same time, I I, I feel like I need vengeance or, you know, um, I feel like I need to be vindicated. Uh, again, vengeance. You know, uh, Scorpio is very uh, revengeful, you know. And if you know this about yourself, then you can kind of, you know, take a step back and kind of, uh, you know, course correct yourself. Um, but it looks good. Everything that you prayed for, it looks like it's coming into you, especially those who are in healthy, um, prospering connections. Some of you need to let go. The grudge that you're holding against someone who puts you in a compromising situation, let it go so that goodness can come into you. In terms of work and career and finance, it looks good. Continue to work hard. Um, there's also someone here who's deceptive. It could be you deceiving someone. You could have somebody in a third party situation where someone is feeling like it's a lot of work, hard work being with you. Um, yeah, you could be in some intimate, passionate connection, dating more than one person, having no intention of actually sell, selling, settling down with anybody. It could be a karmic connection between you and someone else where you have to learn some lesson. Uh, maybe even a past relationship. You had to learn the lesson of, I don't know. You have to figure that out. Um, but at the same time, um, some of you are having a really good um, 
you know, really good relationships. And some of you just need to work through. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings.